What's up guys? Welcome back to another mental health video. So today we're going to be talking about what is a treatment plan and how do we make one? So let's jump right into it. So what is a treatment plan? I'm glad you asked. A treatment plan is a mental health. A treatment plan refers to a written document that outlines the proposed goals, plans, and methods of therapy you will be using in your treatment and it will be used by your therapist to direct the steps to take in treating whatever you're working on in therapy. So what is the purpose of a treatment plan? Number one, identify the problem about what the important issue is. Number two, the definition of the issue. Number three, develop short and long-term goals. And step four, write steps you can reach to reach those goals that you have. So, in number one, you identify why you're there, why you're seeing the therapist, um, what's going on. Number two, definition of the issue, basically explaining why you're there, like saying, I have anxiety, or I think I have anxiety, um, or I think I have depression, or just uh, defining the issue that you needing help to solve or want to solve. Number uh, Developing the short and long-term goals, we can't just have that long-term goal that we're working towards. We have to create little, little, short-term goals to then get to that main goal and the steps we can reach our goals is basically those steps we could take so we could reach those little goals therefore then those little goals we can check off that we that we completed them and then we can get to our main goal um so how do we make a treatment plan so number one is basically the name of the client and diagnosis diagnosis um number two the long-term goals like saying the client says i want to heal my anxiety um and that's the long-term goal number three what are the short-term goals or objectives like saying client will reduce anxiety and panic attacks from 20 times a day to 10 times a day stuff like that um and number four clinical interventions like type of service like the individual cognitive therapy um all that like what type of therapy you're actually getting into and number five client involvement what the client agrees to do such as attend therapy once a week two times a week um stuff like that complete the therapy and the homework assignments that are assigned because yes in therapy there will be homework assignments that the therapist will tend to give you to um, challenge you outside of the session um, and it's and saying like the, you'll practice the coping skills you've learned in therapy and just that you will you will practice those stuff outside of therapy um, so how much the client is really involved because guys I find what you put into therapy is what you get out of therapy. So that's that's a tip. Um, basically, the, sh the treatment plan also shows your strengths and your weaknesses and what main goals you are working towards. Um, and it, it may work backwards in a way. Like some, th some therapists may put the main goal on the bottom and then work all the way to the top. Or some, par some therapists put the goal on top and then have the little steps working to the bottom. Um, it can be either way. Um, so uh, there's that. And it's basically what the treatment plan is just, it's step by step of getting you and to getting you to that main goal that you have that one main goal like for here the um main long-term goal says client wants to heal anxiety that was the main goal um so basically what we'll be working on is the step-by-step -step process of how we can get to where the client um heals her heals her or his anxiety um and that's where the short-term goals come into play because that's when we try to to get the panic attacks from like 20 times to 10 times and we we do the coping skills and the homework assignments to to get to that main term goal if that makes sense um in a way and treatment plans get updated 
I believe what I read is once every six months. Um, and this is where the therapist and the client reassess all the goals, um, say how much progress has been made and all of all of that kind of stuff and they reevaluate um, and change you can change some of that small goals um, because maybe you've completed the small goals um, and you want to make new goals stuff like that so that's basically uh, what a treatment plan is and how it works um, I don't know if I'm allowed to show it but I want to show it anyways because I'm no longer in service with them but I don't know why I have this don't ask me um, but I have my one of my treatment plans um, from like I don't know I think we revised this we revised this when I was 19 and I'm not 22 um, at least that's what it says um, man I'm a very popular person people are texting and calling me all over anyways um, so basically I just went off of this you can also ask to see your treatment plan anytime I think they're supposed to actually give you a copy of your treatment plan at least that's what my old therapist did with me um, obviously I got a copy of it um, you can have a copy of your treatment plan you can actually have a couple copy of your file if you really wanted to and you really wanted to see what's in it but um so i kind of just looked through this of how to do this video um and actually reading through it was kind of informative for me and because i didn't know what she knew back then and basically this is this is a way for the therapist and a plan to have a set plan and goals for you so that they know kind of like the outline of the plan in the treatment that they're giving you and what goals you have so they can work towards those goals and help you work towards those goals and everything like that so that's all for this video i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys find it informational and yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think um so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video